What's going on, everybody? This is Big Dumb Monsters. I'm Chris. This, this is- guy's knocking over beer cans. One time. I've done it once. 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 Yeah. You've done it tonight. how many times? Once tonight. Tonight? Zero times. Oh, look at you. Put a, when was the last time I knocked over a beer can? <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> B- uh, can? I don't remember. But bottle? Like two weeks ago? Damn you. <laughs> 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 yeah. Anyway, for some, well, I know why we had to punish ourselves this week. We did because we a didn't pick a movie until like, self-flagellation. Yeah, until like Friday. Uh, so we made ourselves watch Ghoulies Two. I, I have regrets. I, I honestly, I don't regret it because I it was better than the first one for sure. It wasn't that bad, uh, but not a great movie by far. No, it sucks. Yeah, this movie's piss. Um. We get into it. We imagine a uh, colorful scenario uh, regarding the uh, true age of one of the lead actresses, but uh, you'll, you'll, hear, you'll hear You'll hear you'll, 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 you'll love it. You'll love it. We kid. But here we go. We are talking about Ghoulies 2 on Big Dumb Monsters. The You got that cough out, like, right, right on time. On, yeah, like, yeah. fucking professional, man. God damn it. <laughs> See my first rodeo. You cough into the you mic. You heard that? You heard that? That's not professional. You cough in the mic constantly. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, but that one was before the mic went on. Do you do you know how many times I have to, like, bring the volume just, like, so far down on it? Because it spikes it so hard that it mutes the track. And that's just what I'm producing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right, buddy? That's right. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, what's going on, everybody? That's, Donner's um, agitated, uh, yeah. so that must mean we're recording. So good. Yeah. Should I just keep feeding him chocolate, <laughs> and then we'll see what happens? <laughs> buddy. Uh, what's uh, up, everyone? Oh, we're still watching Lethal Weapon 2, by the way. Yeah. I'd rather. <laughs> Shut up! Yeah. Is um, this going to be two weeks in a row where we have to do a Be Right Back because of Donner? I hope not. Man, putting the con candy bowl right in the middle of the table is a bad, bad idea. Yeah, not a good a idea. Bad. Yeah. Mm. Um, Mostly because I'm a pig and can't control myself. <laughs> oh, it is covered up with Miller Lights right now. Or Miller well, excuse me. Yeah. These, these are not Diet Millers. I almost went with uh, with banquet beer. Uh, fucking. I love it. Yeah, maybe it. next week. Maybe I next week. I drink it all the time. Yeah. Um, but yes, we are here to talk. Something that was recorded on film. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. It is technically a movie. Yeah. I will say... It's a thousand times better than the first one. Bingo. That's yeah. what I was going to say. I'd watch this any fucking day of the week over the original Ghoulies. Yeah. Donner! That's so much, man. Yeah. Um, no, this is a, a step up. I think... It's a drastic step up. But also, in a weird way, a step down, because this is more of just a Gremlins ripoff than the first one was. Oh, for sure. Like they, they, I mean, quite almost literally in the first five minutes, just ditched the whole uh, supernatural storyline of them being like demonic and like because you have the guy who's like trying to summon something or whatever, and they just chuck him into the acid and fucking that's it. Yeah, no more supernatural shit. It's just these yep. fucking these ghoulies turn loose on a, on a carnival. Yeah, I would love, absolutely love to know what they thought a garage would have in a fucking fifty-five gallon bucket that will dissolve a human. <laughs> dissolve a human in like ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Caution, solvent. Okay, that'll maybe like make your cut sting. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. are we doing here? It's not gonna melt an old dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, didn't touch the ghoulie though <clears throat> um but that all being said still not great no 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 no, 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 no. um yeah i 
It sucked. It sucked. <laughs> I not the worst movie I've ever seen. Like, no, by it far, is, it is a, a a a huge step up in quality, but like everything was so just like goofy and rip off and yeah, just like and and just like hammering home every carnival trope that you could possibly fit into a fucking movie. Um. There is just shit that's just dumb and doesn't make sense. Like how they kill the giant ghoulie. Also, first of all, I am no Latin expert, but I'm pretty sure I, I know Gigantus Demonius means fucking giant demon. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe we shouldn't read this. This is like a Danzig fucking yeah. song here. Um, uh, where was I going with that? They're stupid. Oh, the way they kill the giant. They, they throw Molotov. With Molotov. Why does Hollywood not know how Molotov cocktails work? <laughs> they don't explode. They break and catch fire. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> it's not an explosive device. Yeah. They feed, yeah, they feed this giant grem uh, gremlin. See? See? Yeah, yeah, basically. Giant ghoulie, a Molotov cocktail in a gorilla suit. <laughs> 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 Sounds ridiculous, because it is. Big dumb monsters. It's a Molotov yep. cocktail in a gorilla suit. Yep. <laughs> That's a sticker. That is a sticker. <laughs> Write this down. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Molotov cocktail in a gorilla suit. Um, yeah. And then this thing, thing just explodes. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. No, no. No. Like no. they filled it with dynamite. Yeah. Well, we summon this mystical, magical demon. How do we kill it? Molotov cocktail in a gorilla suit? All right. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Oh god, I fucking hate it. <laughs> I laughed at. The, I did laugh at one of these jokes. Which one? Uh, have you seen my little muffy? Yes. <laughs> Who, Who has has it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I met my cat. <laughs> and all it got out of me was. <laughs> 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 to which I went. Did I just laugh at one of those fucking jokes? <laughs> I felt dirty. Oh man! Ah, uh, Christ. Yeah, there is not a lot of positive things to say about this, other than it's not as bad as the first one. It's, I mean, it's, <clears throat> I guess, in the right crowd, in the right instance, it can be stupid fun enough. Yeah, if you want to like mystery science theater, like with your friends and just get <clears throat> drunk and fucking yeah, do dumb shit over it. I mean, like, you could. You could probably put this on at a Halloween party and nobody would like, nobody's going to pay attention to it, but yeah. it'll be fitting. But the second somebody starts to actually watch it, they'll go, what the fuck is wrong with you? And why did you put this bullshit on? <laughs> um, uh, dude, I fucking love this. A steaming, open, 55-gallon drum. Uh, oh, yeah. Highly corrosive chemicals. Highly corrosive chemicals. Just left open. No lid. Um, was the flying ghoulie in the first one? Because I don't remember that one. I think it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it, I think they all were. I think yeah. it was the, the same fucking stupid ones. Uh, maybe I just didn't care enough. <laughs> that's yeah, that's accurate. Yeah. Uh, yes, I I did have uh, adult beverages and fold laundry while I was watching this movie. <laughs> like a responsible that, adult. That seems fitting. That yeah. seems fitting. Listen, I, man, I gotta, I gotta do multiple things at once. Yeah, I, I watched this while setting up the episode, the audio episode for today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I know what I was gonna say a minute ago. Tell uh, me that's not Tar Man on the side of this fucking truck. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. But that was a very '80s thing, where like you'd go to like a low fucking rent carnival, and like the you know the the spook house or the haunted house would have like generic versions of like popular characters painted on it like yeah, yeah you know that's not out, really that out of place um yeah but what year did this come out 88 did people really like in a massive way give a shit about a three-year-old zombie movie at that point though like maybe like, people not people in general but like maybe these guys like yeah. the, the obviously it, the fucking I, they filmmakers. Could, that could be just something they just bought like off a real like carnival truck that sign like <laughs> it could have been you know 
Um, because yeah, like I said, I, I'm going to like the Altamont Fair in the '80s. I remember seeing that shit all the time. Just like yeah, yeah, knock off Jason Voorhees. Like yep. yeah, yeah. Uh, my buddy went to the Altamont Fair uh, this weekend. I totally forgot that it was this week. Yeah. Uh, he was describing it to me. Everything I remember. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, it's just such trash. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just trash heaped upon trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. Dave is lurking. Dave, what's up, man? Dave's the best. I totally missed him at uh, Phantom Fest last weekend. Apparently, we were there at the same time. And oh, I just shit. did not see him. It's a bummer. Um, That panel went. Uh, while well, we're talking about it. panel went really well. Let's crapshoot that. All right, all right. I'm gonna. Or, or did you crapshoot it last week? Do you think I'm gonna remember that? No, no. Mm-hmm. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I, I didn't. I don't get the good shit. I didn't. Be real. I didn't watch the episode. <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look what you did. Beat. Look what you did. Yeah, it's my bad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm the worst. Um, there. There were a few things I did kind of like about this. Like, I like the idea of doing things at a carnival. Like, I, I'm i a big fan of, like, the aesthetic. Yeah. And the vibe. Um, you know, carnivals and <clears throat> circuses and sideshows and, like, all that, all that shit. Like, Especially, like, in the 80s, too. Like, this time, like, I think this was, like, the perfect time for this, like, kind of theme. Like, yeah. Because this is like when it starts going downhill for all this. It not only seemed, it was fucking dangerous. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. A drunk carny would hand you a a repeating air rifle. uh, Yeah. 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 (laughs) For $5. Yeah. (laughs) Everybody was drunk. Yeah. Um, But like it, it, it gets you that like nostalgia hit for the carnival. Yeah. Which I like. Some of the effects are not bad, like some of the because it's all practical, but like all the ghoulies look like shit because they just look like they look like puppets. They look like hand puppets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they when, didn't really improve them from the first movie. I don't think a like. little bit. Like if they have a better paint job and shit. But like when you see them moving in claymation form, awful. Oh yeah, yeah. Awful. Um. I like the danger that it presents, but like, you, you, so like you're going into the, the like the spook house, and then people are actually dying, and there's bodies hidden all over the place. Like that's awesome. Yeah. The fact that it's like goofy kills and trying to be funny. It's 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 trying to be funny, but it's not. It's not. It's failing horribly. It's, yeah. It's fucking awful. Um, that really kills it like so if they tried to do this like in just more of a serious tone it would have been way more successful yeah this is one of the movies that we haven't had one of these in a while i think would be good for a like a reboot like because i think this could be more than just a gremlins ripoff if they do like it could be like the lean, satanic part in, lean it, right? into the satanic part yeah. yeah lean into the they're from hell like they're fucking demons yeah like okay, we know they're similar to Gremlins. Let's just get over that and like let's do our own thing with it. Like, yeah, because I mean we had other things that were in that you know vein, like Critters. Critters was fucking good. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It wasn't just a, a ripoff. Like, it's, it had like, the every, vibe. Yeah. But, okay, we get it, this is gonna be like a Gremlins ripoff. Oh no, it does its own thing with it. Yeah. Great. Fine. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. No. Like the. The drunk uncle is just insufferable. Uh, why I forget his name, sir, whatever. Why he only speaks in fucking Shakespeare quotes? Yeah, is beyond sir me. Something Pennyweight is his last name. Yeah, because of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, just fucking, just bad decision on top of bad decision. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I don't even care that it's, the movie is cheesy. Like, I accept cheesy. I love cheesy. It's, cheesy can be enjoyable. Cheesy can be fucking fun as shit. Like, this is almost to the borderline of fun. Like, yeah. it's just not there. This is, like, not as far from the line of rewatch. But not that I'm getting to my rating yet, but, like, not as far from the line of rewatchability, like, as I would expect it to be. Especially, Same. like, yeah. Same. It's definitely below. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> not like again, don't get it twisted. <laughs> not like Ghoulies one below. Oh Jesus Christ! What do we rate that? Like like twos? I think that was maybe like a three because I think Deathbed was the lowest we've ever done, and that was that like was a two ones. five. No, those were ones. Was it a one? Those were ones. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so maybe that was like a two five then. Yeah. 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 Um. I mean, like, there are things, like, scenes in this movie that could be genuinely terrifying, like, again, if it wasn't played up for comedy, like the, um, the one where they have, like, the, like, the punk kids, like, in the fucking, like, in the guillotine. My tunes! Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, that dude, I hate that dude. Yeah, like, yeah. with his, like, I don't even know what to call it, like, fringe vest. Yeah. Uh, dude, that's not even cool in 1988. <laughs> Um, but no, when like they've got the one kid in the guillotine and like you know, like the other kids in the in the pit in the pendulum thing. Yeah. And like there's people there like cheering it on, not knowing that it's real. Like yeah. that's kind of cool. Like I want to see yeah. like, stuff like that. But take the comedy out of it. Take the comedy out of those moments at least. Like yeah. if you want if you want to have some comedy in the movie, pick really good places for it to be. Yeah. Not when it's supposed to be tense. Yeah. Not in the terrifying moments. Yeah. Because because you you do yourself like the hugest disservice because you don't know when you're supposed to take the movie seriously. Yeah. That's why, that's why like Shaun of the Dead works so fucking perfectly well Yeah, because when the dread sets in, that's all it is until they want the break. Yeah. Until, until like you hit that point of like, yeah, this is enough. Maximum tension. Yeah. And now we go. Boom. Yeah. Joke. Yeah. Huh. Yep. They just don't, they don't deliver on anything like, and it's not even like it doesn't promise anything either. It just doesn't deliver. And like the end scenes, like when the giant ghoulie is like getting rid of the problem. Yeah. That's so fucking weak. They call this thing up and then it eats one. 10 seconds later, it's eating another one. 10 seconds later, it's eating another one. Yeah. Like you could have cut out. 30 minutes of this fucking movie in the middle yeah. and then had this crazy intense in chase that 30 scene. minutes go to home depot rent a wood chipper <laughs> like and then just grab you know, get some gloves and you know grab them, throw them in the wood chipper like well what i mean is like <laughs> if if they wanted to do like the big ghoulie eats all the other ghoulies cool we can do that that's awesome we have to have like a chase and a catch scene but don't just repeat the same fucking thing yeah five different times because it's easy and you just are trying to end the movie cut out the bullshit in the middle of the movie and then have your your end scene where you can build that tension you could maybe have a couple of goofs make that like way fucking cooler yeah because that was lame yeah actually have this giant lame. thing like wreak havoc like yeah all it did was get up walk around to each one of the ghoulies where it was hiding I don't know how it knew where they were. Swat it, eat it, and then move yeah. on. Yeah, it hit the one with the fucking hammer on the fucking. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. that was kind of fun, but like <sighs> that could have been so much cooler. Uh, then of course, I mean, the eighties. I mean, who? What corporation wasn't buying up carnivals uh, left <laughs> and right? <laughs> Profitable as they were. No, he wasn't buying it up. His family already owned it. Yeah. It was his family's carnival. <laughs> If you're going to fuck with the movie, at least fuck with it for the right reasons. <laughs> no, this movie is piss. Yeah, but still not nowhere near the worst of the shit we've seen. Oh, fuck no. No, I would, no, no. I would put this above the stuff, to be honest with you. I would not. Yeah, I, I would, would not. This, dude, the stuff had some awesome kills, and stuff zombies were fun. Mm, maybe. <laughs> Watching somebody just like completely like fucking collapse in on themselves. Yeah, yeah. It's rad. <clears throat> That's not a juicy. That was that was productive, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse uh, me while I whipped this out. <laughs> uh let's see. I think I think we're uh, I think we're good to throw some ratings on this. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. All right, I'll go first. Um Three five. All right, I'm gonna go higher than that because I like I didn't I didn't really dislike this movie. It was just like on. It was just there, like you know. Yeah, but if it's gonna be on, 
It's got to serve some purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this served no purpose. Yeah, I'm sticking with my rating. I'm going to give it a four, just because it's it's fair. You it's know, still fair. The, like I said, there are there's there's things in here to like. There's things I think in here that could work if done correctly. Um, but yeah, I, I can't put this over the line of rewatchability. No fucking Jesus way. fucking Christ, no. Yeah. Um, Have you seen my little Muffy? Who hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fucking slut. And then, oh god, the uh, the harem of just just south of attractive uh, <laughs> uh, dancers, <laughs> like a bunch of Schenectady sevens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all have been or will be lunch ladies at some point in your lives. Like I just sense it. <laughs> Some of you may be now. <laughs> <sighs> Rude. <laughs> oh, man. But I, I remember seeing shit like that in the 80s and just being terrified of it as a kid. Yeah. Because it was fun. Yeah, the big scary haunted and house. Like, I, I can see what they were... I can see what they were trying to go for in this, and they just... They failed so fucking miserably. Yeah. It was like... The first one was all like satanic panic cult bullshit. None of that worked because it was so fucking piss poor. Yeah. And then like this one, they just said, fuck it. We're going full gremlins rip off. Yeah. And we're going to go all ham. Yeah. It's like gremlins work so well because it's got legitimate dread. Yeah. Yes, they stick it, to that formula. Better. There's, there's goofy things. There's cutesy shit. But there's also moments where you're like, holy shit. Yeah. This has none of that because it like it sabotages its own vibe. Yeah, I was gonna say I love the reaction the kids have when they're going through the haunted house the first time. Like this stupid piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I feel you, kid. <laughs> yeah, same <laughs> Um, are you ready to move on to trivia? Let's move on to the trivia. All right. Look at the one ghoulie that looks like Chet from uh, Weird Science. <laughs> he does! <Yeah. sighs> he turns into the fucking monster. Yep. <laughs> I did not need to see that one's hooves. And you can totally tell it's a guy like, yeah. going like this. Yeah. Fingers. Yeah. <laughs> God, this movie sucks. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Uh, let's move on to trivia. Um, this is the only sequel in the Ghoulie series to be given a theatrical release. I wonder why none of them yeah. got theatrical releases after. Shit. Somebody paid to see this in the movies. <laughs> Wasn't me. Same here. Uh, the night scenes of the carnival were actually shot on an interior soundstage in Rome with rented off-season equipment. All right. Rome? Yeah, judging by the uh, the better known as, I thought this uh, this was an Italian flick. Yeah, well, Ooh, we have, a, we have a, another uh, fun uh, fact about that a little, a little later. Um, this was originally rated R. And was re-rated PG-13 for home video release, despite little to no editing. The yeah, the shots cut from the film are available on the Scream Factory Blu-ray release, and contain more gore and severed limbs. So it's just like a little bit of violence they cut. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing, buddy? Um, despite receiving a very limited theatrical release. MTV had the video for Wasps Scream Until You Like It uh, featuring clips from the film in rotation, nevertheless. And that song rules. I love Wasp. <laughs> Wasp is fucking awesome. I do not remember that. No? Yeah, it's the, uh, the my tunes. That's that song. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, most of the extras only spoke Italian. Yeah, that tracks. Yeah. So the, uh, the better known as is going to be light <laughs> uh there's people in there there's people there's some there's some people in there yeah yeah all right 
We got stuff. We got, uh, we got this. John Carl Buchler, I'm going to say, was originally going to direct this entry before Albert Band took over. Uh, Buchler would eventually direct a third Ghoulies movie. Ooh. Who was who got their start in that movie? Was it Leo? No, that's Critters Three. That was Critters Three. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. Yeah, so, somebody got their sounds like arts on it. No, he's ch- ch- chatting. <laughs> uh, it was who got their start in Ghoulies? Ghoulies Three. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Harden's death was scripted after the criticism of the original film got uh, no one actually got attacked on the toilet. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I did kind of chuckle at that because I was going, ah, he got his ass (laughs) eaten. And that is why you do not want a ghoulie to eat your ass. Yeah. It's almost like we tell you. Every, Every week. Goddamn week. Don't let listens. ghoulies eat your ass. <laughs> that is why. Yeah. You'll die. Probably. <laughs> you don't see his body. But he probably died from getting his ass eaten. Or he poops weird from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Could that be? Matthew Lillard. Holy shit. Uh, Check it. Yeah. Oh man, how fucking bad would that be? Eesh. Matthew Luther got his start in Ghoulies 3. Uh, body count, nine. All it was, right. was kind of light for an 80s movie. I would whoop some ghoulie ass if given the... Uh, his first role was actually in Scooby-Doo. No, it isn't. Yeah, I Scooby-Doo show. Yeah. No, no, no. This is confusing. He might have done a voice as it's, a kid. I don't think so. I think we went over this at one point before, and it was just like a, it's a weird crediting for the year. Oh, uh, maybe you're right. Click on the one episode. Uh, oh, season one, episode three, 1978. Yeah. Bah. Yeah. Voice that, uh, Renee Abergenois was in that. Oh, all right. He came up uh, Friday night on Defenestration. Hour. Oh, did he? Yeah. Uh, I believe he is in. Uh, I don't think he's in it, Daddy, but he came up for some reason. Yeah. Oh, because you guys were talking about Deep Space Nine. Maybe. Or Mash. Probably one or the other. Mash the movie he was in. That's uh, yeah. I know. I remember Tom said he was in the original Mash. Mm-hmm. He was, um, um, he was the priest. But anyway, Anywho. that's it for trivia. Oh, um, damn. I'm on a candy break. So that wasn't like a, a big jump to the side when you look at that stuff. There's nothing else to do anyway. <laughs> All right, well, on to the better known as. Yeah. That girl is like she looks forty. I'm gonna say it. She looks forty. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, anyway, uh, we are gonna start off as we always do with the director Albert Band. As soon as I can click onto the tab, there we go. Uh, he has uh. Not directed much, you have probably... Oh, you know what? Some of it, yeah. There are two, because they were both mystery science theater movies. But anyway, his last movie was 2006, Aliens Gone Wild. Uh, he directed Prehysteria 2 in 1994, and the first Prehysteria uh, in 1993. The first Prehysteria was fine, if you watch it as a kid. Yeah, it was the one with the kid from uh, Last Action Hero, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, he also directed Robot Wars in 1993, and Dr. Mordred. Uh, in 1992, both of which I believe are uh, mystery science theater movies. I think Dr. Mordred definitely De- is. They, I, definitely Dr. Mordred. I'm pretty sure Robot Wars is also. They're both like later season. Uh, I'm pretty sure Dr. Mordred is a Jonah one. Robot Wars might also be a Jonah, but it might it also have be to the be, newest cause... season with, the, with Emily, I think her name is. 
Um, anywho, moving on. Dracula's dog. Dracula's dog, 1977. Dracula's dog. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't ever do that again. <laughs> if you're doing it like that, you have to say Dracula's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that is really it of anything of note. Up next, we have Damon Martin, uh, who was the lead in this. Uh, Larry was his name. Larry. Larry. Uh, his last film was in 1992, Amityville 92. It's about time. Uh, Jesus what Christ. That? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Let's check it out. It's going to be a time traveling Amityville watch. Here oh, we go. It's got to be. Uh, come on, you fucking ad. Uh, old clock, not knowing it's haunted by the demonic presence of an Amityville house, begins to alter time and space and starts oh, to possess members Christ. of the house. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. That sounds like a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was in an episode of Blossom uh, 1992, uh, an episode of 21 Jump Street uh, 1989, Freddy's Nightmares 1989. Not a fan. Uh, this was 87. It's both billed as 87 and 88, so take a pick. Uh, he was in It's a Living. He is in Pee Wee's Big Adventure in 1985. As Chip, he's one of the BMX bikers, like who's in the town that people oh, lives in. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, fucking, I know too much about that. <laughs> I haven't seen it in so long, but I will watch it every time it's on. I just watched it not that long ago. Yeah, yeah, a couple of weeks ago. It's like <clears throat> it's about time for a viewing. Uh, I was on TV. I'm like, well, this is what I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, tell them Large Marge sent you. <laughs> oh, God, that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Yeah. That's because it was fucking scary. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason. Uh, Tim his, Burton is a fucking maniac. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, his first role was in Falcon Crest in 1984. Uh, up next, Royal Dano, who we have actually talked about multiple times. Have we really? We have. He is a farmer Gene Green in Killer Clowns oh, from Outer Space. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, there's at least one other thing we talked about that he is in. Uh, he was in the dark half in 1993. It was a joint, uh, George Romero, Stephen King joint. Uh, mm -hmm. I use that move. Huh, wonder why I use that uh, term twice. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> could be. Yeah, <laughs> he was in two episodes of twin peaks. Yep. Uh, spaced invaders. Uh, uh space. Based invaders. I know I've seen that. The, oh, that's the one where the, the one gets hit by a fucking car and the, the hood emblem gets stuck in his forehead, right? <laughs> I think so. There's like the one in the leather jacket, like the bomber jacket with like the glasses. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh let's see. He was uh house two, he was in house two, the second story. Um he was in episode two episodes of Amazing Stories. Uh anything. Oh, the right stuff. Something Wicked This Way Comes, 1983. Mm -hmm. Did not enjoy that movie or that book. Um, Little House on the Prairie, From Here to Eternity, the TV series. Mm -hmm. Quincy M.E. We have one old person solving murders. One. Uh, let's see. How the West Was Won. Oh, Outlaw Josie Wales. Outlaw Josie Wales, 1976. God, that's... Such a good movie. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I'm going to have to watch that. Yeah. Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize. Oh. Here's two episodes of Emergency uh, 1972 and 1976. Adam 12. Huckleberry Finn. Electric Glide, uh, Electric Glide in Blue, 1973. He's in an episode of Kung Fu in 73. That's probably it. Gunsmoke. 13 episodes of Gunsmoke. Jesus Christ, yeah. Oh, this is like an older horror movie he was into, but maybe I'm just imagining that. Hondo. <laughs> Hondo, Bonanza, the Virginian, Lost in Space. Jesus Christ. We need Western television back. That'd be cool. 
uh, I don't, yeah, I'm not, Wells Fargo. Yeah. I don't think there is a lot a, of just old, a lot of old westerns. Yeah. And we might move on. Uh, Alfred Ringo. Hitchcock. Yeah, we're going to move on. We're going to move uh, Yeah. On. We that's so many before. westerns. Holy yeah. shit. And like TV shows. Yeah. Uh, Phil Fondacaro, who we have also talked about, I think, multiple times before. At least once. Yeah. Uh, twice. Twice, I believe. Twice. Yeah. Uh, gonna be a third time coming up ah, soon. fuck you. Uh, but he was in Land of the Dead in 2005. He yep. was Chihuahua, the dude in the beginning. Uh, original flavor CSI, Walker, Texas Ranger. He was touched by an angel, 2000. Uh, I don't think they want you to say that people were on the show by saying they were touched <laughs> by an angel. Maybe they're touched by it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. He was in an episode of Sabrina. Oh, excuse me. Five episodes of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the 90s uh, series. Mm -hmm. uh, two episodes of Sliders. Uh, he played Cousin It in the Adams Family Reunion TV movie. That was bad. Yeah. That was really bad. Good. Uh, he was in Bordello of Blood. That was the other movie we yep. uh, talked about with him in it. Uh, he was in Hellraiser Bloodline. Uh, both of those movies, 1996. I like Bloodline. I still have never seen it. I've seen one and two. That's it. Yeah, it, it kind of bucks the trend of like, when they go to space, it's bad. Because like, that one's good. All right. Uh, Dollman vs. Demonic Toys. Tales from the Crypt. I looked at the episode. It was not one that's ringing a bell. Food for thought. This is the most insane description for anything ever. Ready? I can't wait. Here we go. A psychic clown and a part-time cook who abuses his assistant and wife learns that she is having an affair with a fire eater plans to run off with him. I love that. Yeah. I love that so much. Yeah. Oh, fucking Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson and Joan Chen. God damn it. <laughs> that is insane that's amazing is what it is <laughs> that's cocaine okay. yeah yeah that's it uh let's see he was in the last action hero we just mentioned that a little while ago yeah. he was in an episode of renegade in 1992 god damn it uh he's in the doors movie in 1991 he is one of the aliens in the episode of married oh, with Christ. children where, the, where al sees the aliens <laughs> at night they come to steal his socks <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking unhinged was that show like, <laughs> the best is the end of that episode where he's taking pictures with the aliens and like there's the one with him doing the, like the football pose like, yeah. <laughs> oh god that show is amazing yeah it really fucking it really did start to get really bad at the end Yo, yeah yeah but, uh, but when it was good it was really good like the first like six seasons yeah. untouchable <laughs> <laughs> he was in phantasm 2 in 1988 uh the same year he was in willow uh as one of uh, willow's buddies uh that was 1988 i thought he was in the re uh the revival uh but i guess not uh, not that anyone watched that i did not i did i liked it it was okay was that a great? movie or a show show of course Disney it plus was. show yeah of course it was um, uh, was was Val Kilmer in it? Could negative. Because no, he, he would no. have had his throat. Yeah. The whole thing is he's missing. He's been missing for like a like a long ass time, and like they're going looking for him. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ghoulies two. We met. Well, we mentioned because we watched it. And yeah. It sucked. Yep. Um, he was in the Garbage Pail Kids movie in 1987. Hell yeah. Invaders from Mars, 1986. He's in the original Troll in 1986. <sighs> which reminded me, we need to give the uh, the Frank Welker guys a shout out. To, uh, see if they want to do a movie with sometime with us. Yeah. Um, That'd be awesome. Oh, that's right. We didn't watch Troll here. We watched it on, on their, their show. show. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was an Ewok in Return of the Jedi in 1983. Uh, he was also in Something Wicked This Way Comes. Uh, and his first role was in Under the Rainbow in 1981. And look who's back. Hi, it's Donder. Good boy. That's it to be seen. He's a boy. He's, yeah. He is definitely a boy. Uh, up next, Jay Downing, who played Harding in this. Um, 
this dude has a lot of one-offs and a lot of like notable things. He was in an episode of Yellowstone in 2022. Uh, I have to get back into that show. I, 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 I can't get into it. I just, no? I, I haven't really tried to be fair. Did you like Sons of Anarchy? For a while. <laughs> it's, it's Yeehaw Sons of Anarchy. Okay. 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 Uh, just like, just think about it that I'm, way. Yeah, like I'm, I'm hitting. This is crapshoot territory, but I'm like hitting a spot where like I'm gonna need a show, and quickly. Mm. Like I'm like I don't have like a, so I have like usually I have like a comfort show that I usually have need watching. To go to, yeah. yeah, like what I'm still working on. Cheers. Um, but like new shows, like I'm running out of things to watch, and it's getting like, yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway. Uh, Narcos Mexico, Hawaii Five O, the reboot, NCIS New Orleans, General Hospital, uh, Young and the Restless, Original Flavor, CSI, Franklin and Bash, NCIS, Dexter. Um, Did not care for that show. Uh, there were some good seasons. It, then it also went completely to shit in the later seasons. By some good seasons, you mean two? First two seasons were. Pretty much where everything kind of yeah stops being good. Which they're somehow bringing back fucking again. again. Yeah. Why? <sighs> Son of Dexter. Anyway. <sighs> he was in big love with Bill Paxton. Yes. Yes. Even Donner wasn't sure. About <laughs> <that>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's in an episode of VIP uh, in 2001. Uh, Viper. He's in 48 episodes of Viper. Jesus. This is late 90s uh, Night Rider. Yeah. 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 It sucked. But it sucked so bad. In 1995, <gasps> he was in. Murder! she wrote there it is uh robot war shows up again days of our lives star trek the next generation you played chief kelso uh let's see nope we're gonna move on yeah uh up next carrie remsen who was the uh 40 year old in love with a 19 year old <laughs> uh she Mouse was born is, in 64. She was 20. F- bullshit. <laughs> Somebody lied. Yeah. She was 23 when this movie was made. Yeah, I don't think. Tell me that's a 23 year old girl. I don't fucking think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> Remember you and Kennedy was shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm awful. I was on vacation. <laughs> With who? My kid? Uh, my parents. <laughs> I sometimes, I just don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Pull it together. Uh, she was in an episode of Beverly Hills 90210, Doogie Howser. Uh, she was in 65 episodes of this like early 90s like teen soap opera Tribes. Uh, I just remember my female cousins being super into that show. Really? Yeah. I, uh, well, not for me. Uh, we might have talked about her before. She was in Pumpkinhead. We definitely did then. Yeah. Uh, we are going to move on. Should, yeah, yeah. 21 Jump. Oh, she's in Nightmare on Elm Street too. Uh, the memorable character of Girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah. yeah, Girlfriend. Who's uh, Girlfriend? Just Girlfriend. Just Girlfriend. And somebody walked past her and said, hey, Girlfriend. <laughs> Up next, Dale Wyatt. Uh, she was another one of the elderly dancers. Uh, <laughs> It's senior night. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking elderly dancers. (laughs) You're fucking rude. (laughs) I love it. Well, yeah. Like, like it hasn't gotten us through 163 episodes at this point. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. She was in the movie Bad Company in 2002 with Anthony Hopkins and uh, Chris Rock. Um, she, no, no, thank you. Yeah, it was not good. Um, she was in the Joan of Arc TV miniseries on CBS in 1999. Wait, hold on, what year was that? That was 2002. That was her last. She died from when she was like being 80, right? <laughs> yeah. She definitely looked like a 50-year-old woman uh, <laughs> in this movie. She was in that Snow White horror movie in 1997. Uh, ooh, ooh, there we go. With Sigourney Weaver. Was not awful. Never saw it. No. Never saw it. But I heard good things. Yeah. It's 6-1. Not bad, I guess, for IMDb. Uh, she was in The Last Temptation of Christ in 1988. Just a year after being in Ghoulies, she's in a Scorsese movie. Yeah. Go figure. She is also in the first troll movie, Dickinson's Girlfriend. Yep. Well, she was uh, from Beyond. Was Oh, yeah. Um, not great. Did one of you or the dog fart? No. Gotta be the dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. Anyway, yeah, you were saying from Beyond? Oh, from Beyond is, uh, it's an H.P. Lovecraft story. Um. But it's it's your usual HP Lovecraft movie players. Um Oh, so like uh what's his name? Jeffrey Combs. Jeffrey Combs is in it. Um Oh, what's her fucking name? She was in Reanimator as well. She was the, the girlfriend. Barbara Crampton? Yeah, Barbara Crampton is in it. Um I don't remember who directed it. But right. yeah, it's well, very we, we have an internet it's very movie mid. database. Uh very mid Stuart Gordon. Oh, yeah, the guy that did reanimate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh all right, let's see. We're gonna move on as soon as we can pin down that X. Yeah. It's being a little weird. Mm -hmm. Sasha Jensen. As soon as I saw this dude, I'm like, is that the dude from Dazed and Confused? And it was. Uh he's like one of the hippie dudes, uh, like the stoner dudes in Dazed and Confused. I Don Dawson. I have seen Dazed and Confused one time. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty it's, good movie. It, uh, yeah, it just didn't do much for me. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Aside from that, he was in an episode of NYPD Blue. Hold on, please go back up because he was in something called Grind, followed by something called The, the Grind. Grind. But Grind is awesome. The Grind. Nah, Rated not. higher. Yeah, but it is it about like the X Games style sports? Probably not. Let's it's see. Not as good then. There's crosshairs on the thing. Uh, no synopsis, which means it's got to be good. It's amazing. Yeah, it's fucking James Avery. Oh, it? fucking yeah, Uncle Phil. Let's just make up a plot. Oh, okay. Um, go for it. Hold on, let me see who else is in it. Nobody else we've heard of. How treat a law? Okay, I, I, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Okay, Michael Mays. Look how small his face is compared to the size of his head. <laughs> like, yeah, mouth, eyes, and nose are all like maybe like ten percent of the facial like, yeah. facial area. Yeah. All right. So Uncle Phil. Let's see. His name is Modelo Snipes. That's fucking badass. That's pretty. That's pretty dope. Yeah. All right, Modelo Snipes. The grind. But Della Snipes is an assassin. Hold on, wait. Three men, one job, no choice. That's your tagline. All right. Okay. So Modelo Snipes is a competing assassin uh, with the Murphy brothers here. Oh, okay. Um, and then, oh, no, no. No, Murphy, no, no. Murphy that's father, father son. son. That's yeah. father son. All right. The Murphy boys. The, there we go. The Murphy boys. Yeah. Um, and he is trying to kill. Gordon Clapp from NYPD Blue, <laughs> Detective Greg Metavoy. Um, this is already a piece of shit. I don't, yeah, you know, yeah. No, we're going to move back. No, this is a bad idea. This is yeah, not a good segment. This is not going anywhere. Um, Dazed and Confused. He's in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He's like one of the basketball players. He gets turned into a vampire. Mm. Uh, he's in an episode of Monsters, uh, the anthologies, uh, the anthology series from the eighties. So I'm curious, the Match Game, 1989. I don't think I've ever seen a single episode of this. I have seen episodes, not enough to remember, like specific ones. In a haunted Victorian mansion, two couples play a game where each person tells part of a ghost story about the late former owner. While a match burns, the, sto sorry, uh, the story somehow comes true. 
and he rises from the grave to take their lives. All right, that sounds kind of dope. Yeah. Uh, scroll down because I want to see who else is in this. Byron Thomas, Sasha Jensen, Tori Spelling. Yeah. Uh, anybody else notable? Ashley, Ashley Lawrence. Lawrence. Uh, I because I thought that was fucking Ashley Lawrence in the picture for uh, the episode, yeah. and it totally is. It is. I love me some Ashley Lawrence. <laughs> Uh, all right, moving on. We're gonna move on from this dude. I think we got everything. Yeah. He, oh, he's in Halloween Four: Return of Michael Myers. Oh, fucking ooh! Glad we got that one. Yeah. Uh, up next, William Butler, who we have talked about before. He is Tom in the Night of the Living Dead remake. Uh, the the Hayseed kid who gets blown up. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, let me see. Aside from that, he's in Ginger Dead Man 3, Mothman in 2000, Power Rangers Lost. We've talked about it before. We're gonna I, I, I'm just having a stroke here because I saw something that says Barbie and Kendra save the Tiger King. Yes, and Barbie and Kendra clash, uh, crash Joe Bob's drive-in jamboree. That is an animated thing, apparently. He's a voice in it. Or maybe not. What? what is happening? What the f- Am I on acid right now? I wish. Barbie and Kendra race to save Joe Bob Briggs' drive-in from a land baron's plans for a golf course while professing their love for Joe Bob and his sidekick, hoping to catch a terrible movie in the process. I 100% need to watch this. Where can I, Arthur? <laughs> Got it. Where can I watch this? Let's see. What was it called again? Dara, Debbie, no, wait, Barbie, Barbie and Kendra crash Joe Bob's drive in jamboree. Oh, it's on Tubi. There you go. Thanks, Tubi. Tubi's got everything. Diana Prince, Marissa Rose. Holy shit! Christy's oh, in this movie. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Past guest of the show and of the book uh, book club, Nightmare Christy, is in this movie. That's amazing. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Now I have to watch it. Yeah. I bet it's not good. I bet I bet it's not good in the best way. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like uh, this is not good in the worst way. Yeah, that's the be the opposite. Yeah. Uh Donnie Jeffcoat uh was in this movie. That's a dumbass name. <laughs> it's generic white dude at its best right there. Uh, Tell me something about yourself. Well, I'm white. Yeah. <laughs> Donnie okay. Jeffcoat lives in like fucking Parvo, Utah. Um <laughs> You know, only like used to cross country ski, but like it got a little crazy for him, so he doesn't do that he anymore. He hurt his knee. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so now he's big into like frisbee golf. Yeah. Oh, sorry, disc golf. Yeah. But he'll call it golf or frolf if you're cool. Frolf. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like ketchup because it's too spicy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, loves Crocs, loves them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, multiple pair. Hey, oh, oh, for occasions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These are my formal Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the tuxedo stripe on the side. <laughs> Guys, the Utah Jazz are in the playoffs. So <laughs> I got these fun Crocs I'm going to wear. <laughs> what are they called? Giblets? <laughs> Gibbets? <laughs> Gaboons? <laughs> Gaboons? <laughs> Hey, hey, can you say that on this? Like, <laughs> I don't have a buzzer for beefing up. <laughs> There's no dump. No. This, this, fucking, this movie is dump. <laughs> fucking gaboons on this guy. <laughs> hey, he's a fucking Italian. Fucking gaboons, man. <laughs> In 1993, he was in Murder, She Wrote. There we go. Uh, oh, speaking of fucking Italians. So <laughs> I was having a discussion at work about how I get like animated. Like the more aggravated I am, yeah. the higher my hands go. <laughs> right. And 
My buddy goes, yeah, it's because you're fucking Irish or something. I was like, I don't think so. He goes, it's like an Italian thing, too, isn't it? He's like, no. That's just speaking with like, generally, that's yeah. Like this? <laughs> and, he, and another guy goes, well, what's that do for me? Because I'm Irish and Italian. I was like, you're fucking frustrated up here like this. <laughs> just elevated lesbian fists. <laughs> Right here, folks. I, I think Ooh. I've seen the first two or three of those movies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have Jamie Jameson about that movie? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I said, you're a heavy investor in the franchise. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the credit on the third. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I sometimes now, I hate being stupid. We're almost stupid. the crapshoot, and I'm just now opening my second beer. Yeah, you're yeah. slacking. Uh, Aren't we all? Yeah, I'm done with <laughs> this guy. To quote Joe Pesci. Um, Oof, don't do that. <laughs> unless you're saying quotes from Johnny Dangerously, don't do that. <laughs> Joe Pesci, not Joe Piscopo. Oh, Joe Pesci. Oh, trust me, we had enough Joe Piscopo on Friday night. That's you know, that's where my brain went. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, he ruined that fucking movie. <laughs> that movie got really good the moment he died. <laughs> like, not even joking. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it. I saw like a couple of minutes of it when I was a kid, and it stuck in my head. Yeah. Uh, we could have done it on this show for sure. We still could if we really want to. I don't. Uh, you want to watch it again? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, we'll get there someday. <laughs> Who's the boss? I don't know. Who but does number two work for? Yeah, <laughs> you show that to your news boss. <laughs> uh, he's in three episodes of The Wonder Years, uh, an episode of Who's the Boss, an episode of Punky Brewster, Beverly Hills Bunts. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's probably stupid. Yeah. This was his first movie. It's Eddie. Well, fuck you, Eddie. Fuck you. Up next, Michael Deke. Uh, he was dealing with a fucked up uh, mouse. No, I think that's you. Yeah, yeah. I know that is me. You're right. Uh, he is also in Barbie and Kendra Crash, Joe Bob's Drive In Jamboree. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, oh, fuck. I just remembered something to tell you off air. Uh oh. Yeah. No, no, no. It's nothing, nothing like disastrous. Okay. Um, he was in the Rob Zombie Halloween two uh, film in uh, two thousand nine. Excuse me. Deputy number ten and King Jack. Uh, he is in Gingerbread Man, Ginger Dead Man two. He is in the Werewolf Women of the SS short from Grindhouse. Mm -hmm. uh, appropriately enough, as a gun wielding werewolf. Um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch shows up again. It's a little Nicky. That movie's twenty four years old. What? Shut the fuck what? up! Why is that only rated a five three? Uh, that movie's it's... fun as shit. That movie's fun as shit. Fuck you. Sure. <laughs> it's uh, at least worth a six. <laughs> Uh, he's in a couple of episodes of Cowboy Bebop, uh, Bebop, uh, bleh, let's try that again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's in a couple of episodes of Cowboy Bebop, uh, as a scientist assassin. Uh, he's in the Turbo Power Rangers movie, Beastmaster 3, the Weird Science TV series. He's in Return of the Living Dead 3, Puppet Master 3, a lot of sequels for this dude. Yeah, thirds, a lot of threes. Yeah, uh, he's in the Guyver in 1991. Look at that face. That's a 40-year-old woman if I've ever seen one. <laughs> 20. Look, at that, look at those eyes. <laughs> the crow's feet alone are 10 yeah. years old. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Look at the mouth wrinkles on that woman. <laughs> that, there is no fucking way. She's 23 years old. I look younger than her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope. Don't believe it. Jesus Christ. I don't believe she's 60. You know, she's not 60 there. Like, I know she's supposed to be 60 now. Nope. Nope. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. That woman planted a victory garden, all right? <laughs> I, I, she has bought war bonds. <laughs> oh. 20, 23 no no fucking no. way 
No fucking way. That man is kissing an elderly <laughs> woman right now, and like, I'm kind of grossed out. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine know, being him? Yeah. yeah. That's where yeah. his guilt fetish came from. <laughs> <laughs> 23. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> you lie. <Yeah. laughs> oh, we are terrible. Either people. that or she's had a fucking Marlboro red habit since she was eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she talks like Dr. Girlfriend when the camera's not rolling. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I'm so glad the camera's off. Uh, <laughs> It was a Day of the Dead, uh, 1985. Rhodes' uh, tallest zombie attacker. It's oddly specific. Yeah. <laughs> 23. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 43. Yeah. <laughs> it's 1823. <laughs> 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 oh. What was it like to vote for LBJ? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you gave Teddy Roosevelt a hand job, what was that like? <laughs> oh. Anyway, Anthony Dawson. I love this bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When did you get your first gray pube? <laughs> And how long before this movie was that? <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> Wasn't it awesome when they got rid of hand cranks on cars? <laughs> <sighs> Do you remember? Oh, shit. You turned 30 and they had like the specific water fountains. What was that like? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh man <laughs> do you remember reading newspaper articles about the french revolution <laughs> i heard napoleon was a dick that's where he said <laughs> Is it true you blew Lincoln? (laughs) Do you have a ticket from the first World's Fair? (laughs) Oh. Anyway, Laudanum. I thought this was outlawed. (laughs) It's from the original run. Oh. Are you excited when you got the ability to vote? (laughs) 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 Oh, God. Was it a bitch learning to do farm work in 1865? <laughs> you freed the what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Where have we gone? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. Oh, holy shit. If we can reel this back in for a moment. I don't give a shit. (laughs) Christ. Uh, Anthony Dawson was a priest in this. Uh, Aside from that, he was in a couple of James Bond films as... Ernst Stavro Blofeld. Oh shit! As before, they ever like showed him in full. Um, he played him in Thunderball in 1965. 
and in From Russia with Love in 1963. Mm-hmm. He was also in Dr. No in 1962 as Professor Dent. Oh, good God. My head hurts now. Oh, anyway, that's it for the better known as. <laughs> I can't wait for like, not nah, like maybe like nine or 10 days from now when I'm at work listening to that, <laughs> when I'm listening to that episode and like going to be at my desk in <laughs> tears, trying not to audibly laugh. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <sighs> Were you responsible for the Osage murders? <laughs> <laughs> Arthur hit me with that crap shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. I literally have tears in my eyes right now. Oh. We have fun here. We have we have fun. <laughs> Oh, anyway, we are in the crapshoot. Um, yeah. There was something I said we will save for the crapshoot. I forgot it. Uh, Phantom Fest? Phantom, oh, yeah, Phantom Fest. Yeah. How was that? It was good. How was your panel at Phantom Fest? <laughs> My panel went great. Well, the panel Amanda and I did really, really went good. We had people there. I think we did. We might have touched on this last week. Um, we had a pretty de- decent crowd. Um, some people who were really into it, like really like giving us good stuff that they like work with, like yeah, like, talking about you know responding to questions and stuff. Um, yeah, no, good. I, I'll definitely go back. Um, what was like two thumbs up on the bar for sure? What was like the the actual like topic of your panel? Was it couldn't have just been like we love horror? No, it was just general like a history of horror. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Amanda put it together, and like I was just there, basically, like for color commentary, like yeah, like you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throwing some jokes, uh, you know. Um, you know, it starts off. She starts off talking with like you know how horror started, like old horror books, and you know the original, you know, like the original horror story and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, it moves on to like you know movies in the 20th century. Like she breaks down to like different genres and stuff, like slasher films and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Uh, she goes into the books too, like that uh, nerdy shit. Yeah, yeah, books. <laughs> yeah, books. Um, but yeah, no, everybody seemed to enjoy it. They told us they really liked it. Uh, handed out some free stickers and swag. Nice. So nice. maybe uh, reeled some new folks in. Be dope. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out again next year. Hopefully, we're we're doing something that'd be nice. Yeah. Um. Saw Alien Romulus last night. It's a good fucking movie. It looks like it's going to be fucking amazing. It's a good all, movie. All practical effects. Yeah. It is very much uh, in line with Alien and Aliens. Like It, is it the, looks like the, like, it's, it's it looks like the love for, child. Yeah, it's Rogue them. One for those movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's good. It's yeah. good, yeah. Um, I don't want to hype it up too much because, like, you know, it wasn't you know, by no means perfect, um, but it's good yeah 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 worth your time oh yeah that, sure. that, they've got the sickest popcorn bucket for that yeah i saw it when i was at the at the theater a couple weeks ago and i thought about it i'm like uh eh. because it looks cool like once you buy it it just sits in your house but yeah. are you talking about the alien head one the you know the alien like the tube one yeah the, yeah, the, yeah. The face hugger yeah yeah no they had that one i'm like eh, i'm not gonna buy it i'm pretty <laughs> sure it was already sold out by last night lame yeah it's so fucking cool <clears throat> um but yeah, I definitely recommend that one. Yeah, I shockingly haven't seen anything new, but I went back and I watched um, Minus One, Minus Color. Oh, yeah. What'd you think? It's better in black and white, right? Mostly. Yeah. Um, because all the CG looks way more obvious in black and white 
for whatever reason. See, I thought the opposite. I thought it looked a little less noticeable in black and white. No, for, uh, it stuck out like a sore dick for me. Uh, yeah, maybe it is a little like jarring seeing black and white CG. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like that little bit of like film grain that they threw on top of it. Yeah. Just chef kiss because they didn't overdo it. Yeah. Just I think enough it just to, fits the mood perfectly. It fits the tone. Like, 100%. Yeah. Like the, what the, like, oh. the aesthetic that they're going for in the movie, it's just black and white is like perfect for yeah. it. Yeah. Watched it again. Teared up at the end at the same fucking spot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have not watched it since it's been on Netflix. Like, I've just been saving it. Like, I know yeah. I'm going to watch it again soon. Yeah. Um, and I watched it with Ollie. Yeah. Riveted to it this time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He was out cold in the movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I got to the end. He was like, and he was still awake and still sitting there watching. And I was like, did you like that? He goes, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah! Yeah! Right answer. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay here. <laughs> you could swear just for that one. Yeah, yeah. Just say shit once. Yeah. <laughs> um, I started watching, uh, Furiosa. What do you think? I from from where the movie starts to where I got to, um. I was enjoying it, but it was goofy. Chris Hemsworth is really goofy in it. Yeah, but at the I same got time, the, I, got I think the, he's very good. Like in that movie. Yeah, because I got to the part where, um, they roll up to the Citadel and they they eventually start like battling with the War Boys, and then I had to go do other shit. Um, I'm excited to finish it. Yeah. But I like I I really wasn't loving that character, that Chris Hemsworth character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see um, that. He, he's like there is a little, there's a, there's a, there's supposed to be a little bit of like goof to it, but like that was really hammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, as it goes on, he's less hammy, but he he gets more like evil. Like I think, it, yeah, if I remember correctly, which could go either way. Yeah. Um, but, but I saw there was like the a fucking black and white chrome edition of that movie out too. See, I don't know if that, that one. That needs I don't. It. Like the first one, I understand. Like Fury, Fury Road. Okay, that I get. Yeah. But this one, I don't think it needs that that version. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I the the last like action like set piece is really really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It like the fucking there's weird green screen in that movie too like it like it's really bad yeah 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 like they they did not shy away from CGI like they did with Fury Road which is yeah. which definitely dings that movie a little bit but I again I, I really did enjoy that yeah movie. Fury Road was just yeah perfection shepherds. that's everything I want in a Mad Max movie yeah um we saw Alien the hell else did we God damn it I gotta look I know I saw something else this week yeah. I've been watching, I've been trying to stick to Hannibal. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What are you thinking? Um, I like it. It's, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm like close to the end of the, the first season or whatever, but like, it's really slow. Yeah, it is a slow burn, but yeah. it does intensify like quite considerably. Yeah, I like all the characters. Um. Like everything is going really well, it's just taking a long time to get there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Borderlands was the other thing I see. I saw that was. Like, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> it. I will say. I mean, for it is officially the biggest box office bomb in history. Is it? Yeah. Like it officially reached those numbers? It cost like a hundred and something million to make, and I think it made like two something million, or maybe maybe it might hit double digits. Dude, I saw the first trailer and I knew it was gonna be ass. It was exactly what I knew it was going to be. If you, it's just, it's the Dungeons, we talked about this, Art and I talked about this last week. It's Dungeons and Dragons, the movie, reskinned in space. That's all it is. Like, it's Guardians of the Galaxy, just, like, with different characters. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the, crappy like, Guardians of the, the Galaxy. same lame-ass jokes that they put in the video game. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Like, oh, Claptrap does something annoying and then says something cute. Like, oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I talk to people who liked it, but like, I, it's just not my, not my. I'm not in love with those games. They're fun. Yeah. But like. Yeah, yeah. Like, we talked we talked about that also last week. That yeah. meme that was dead on that, like, somebody's finally, you know, uh, captured the, uh, the essence of playing Borderlands. <laughs> There's the, uh, somebody retweeting the review of the movie, calling it lifeless and like yeah. hollow. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's just pretty I, accurate. I, anytime I play Borderlands, I'm like, oh, I could be playing Fallout for the same experience, but better. Yeah. Like, yeah. I actually really liked, so if you want the like goofy kind of jokey thing with that, play, um, oh, what the fuck is it? Holy shit. Um, hold on. Hold on. I got this. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. It was 8 million the first weekend, 8.6 million. Okay. But by the second, it was only 2.35. Okay. Functioned from fourth to ninth. Yeah, so it, it barely cracked Which 10 million on 100 and something million. Um, yeah. The, the Outer Worlds. Yes, that is a better Borderlands. Yeah. 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 One hundred percent. Yep. Yeah. Cause it's got like a uh point. <laughs> yeah. I remember like playing that game was like cause my, my cousin had bought it. I'm like, ah, he's like, check this out. I'm like, all right. Like it it's looks... a nice cross section between Fallout and Borderlands. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, this kind of looks like a like a Borderlands ripoff, but like playing it, I'm like, no, I like this way better than Borderlands. Yeah. Like, yeah, it is there's there's like that RPG element to it, but yeah. like the that gun action is really fun. And the jokes land. Yeah. Yeah. No, that you are correct on that one. Um, I have been watching more of Evil. That show really picks up intensity in season three. My buddy keeps telling me, he's like, you gotta just like, just yeah. get through the first season. Yeah. And not like, so much the first, I got like the first season I got through fine. Season two was the one that took me a while. Yeah. Season three fucking shit's popping off. Yeah. He's, he's like, he's religiously watching it. So yeah. he's like, Dude, this is this final season is so crazy. I'm like, and yeah. he, show, he showed me like the main villain from the the latest season. All right, it, it looks sick, dude. Don't tell me anything, don't because I'm just about to finish. I was just season like, three. It, it looks like, it looks like a Guillermo del Toro creature. I think I know what you're talking about. Okay, is it yeah. like a goat guy with like five eyes? Uh, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that show definitely picks up intensity. Like, yeah, yeah, I, 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 now I know what everybody's raving about. Yeah. 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 I, I'll have to go back for it, but like, shout out to Ken again for recommending that who is recovering with COVID, uh, this week. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bummer. Um, did I do anything else? I moved last weekend. Oh God. I like, you, Hey, you remember how Friday it was like downpouring rain? Yeah. That's when I. Put all the stuff in a U-Haul. You remember Saturday when it was like blistering hot out? That's when I took everything out of the U-Haul. Yeah, I was in I was in Jersey Saturday. <laughs> yeah, you had a better time than I did. Wait, was this last Saturday or this Saturday? This past. Yeah, I was in Jersey. Yeah, uh, I have never been so happy to see rain and shitty weather in my life than I was going to Jersey this Saturday. Yeah, because we're going to the Jersey Shore. So if it's raining and shitty oh, weather, no people, no traffic, baby. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Fucking, I got home in like three hours flat. Yeah, yeah. I was home uh, by like ten fifteen. Tell me you got some wine. No, I did not. You're fucking fired. Not. Yeah. You're fucking fired. <laughs> next time. Next time. Christmas, baby. You're going to get like a fucking subscription of that. Yeah. I, I, I will figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> Just send this to my house. Yeah. <laughs> I will give you money. Lots of it. Um. Yeah, I've been watching Evil. I, I, that I've been watching a lot this week because, like I said, I got really, really into that. Yeah. Um. I, yeah, I've just I've been picking at Hannibal. Like I'm just like if I've got some free time and I don't have anything else to do, yeah. I'll watch an episode or two. Um. Um. I've been watching a lot of Cheers. I just he, Cheers and Evil. Like I, Paramount Plus has my my attention lately. Like, yeah. I was a great fucking Norm line again the other day. Uh. Fuck, how do they set him up? But he walks in. Uh, he's like, uh, fuck, what is he? Somebody says to him, like, oh, you know, he's like, uh, how's it going? You know, what are you doing? He's like, oh, just, you know, home watching a movie. And he's like, oh, he's like, oh, what are you watching? He goes, Magnificent Seven. He goes, you're watching that again? He's like, no, that's my order. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, you got to be well into the coach is gone. Oh yeah, I'm in. I'm into the. You're, uh, you're I'm into, into the. the uh, what's her Kirstie name? Alley years. Yeah, Rebecca years. Yeah, one season two of Rebecca. Yeah. Um, I have my next two fucking books lined up to read. 
Um, I've got my next like hundred books lined up to read. I just will, don't sit down to read I'm them anymore. I'm specifically trying to avoid that trap of like lining things up to have one after another. Yeah. This was like, cause I, I, the way I've been picking books is just like taking cues, just like kind of out of the ether as I'm getting close to the end of one book. So I'm like, yeah, most of the way through the Bob Odenkirk books. I'm like, all right, what should I be reading next? And he was talking a lot about Conan in the book. So I'm like, fuck, I really want to read more about Conan. Like, I want to read that book um, that came out a couple of years ago about all the shit that went down between him and Jay Leno when he took over the Tonight Show. So I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to order that. So I ordered that. Uh, it's called The War for Late Night. I just got that the other day. But then like a day later, I was listening to another comedian, uh, Joe List, who I'm actually seeing Saturday night in Tampa. Nice. Um, he was saying it was the best book on comedy he's ever read. He's read a lot of books on comedy. Uh, it was called Comedy on the Edge. And it's all about like stand up in the 70s, how like everything changed in the 70s. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, fuck, now I got to read this. Like, so I bought that. I got a copy for 450. Like, yeah. So that's whatever, whatever book is shorter is going to be the next one I read. Yeah. Because the war for late night is like 490 pages. Jesus Christ. It's going to take me forever to read. Yeah. 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 No, I've got a bunch of like doorstopper fantasy novels that I would like to get to. I've got, um, I don't think I have any like nonfiction that I really want to read at this point is like, I used to read a lot of like rock star autobiographies and shit. Like I would like my dad would buy them and read them and then I would read them after him. Yeah. Like yeah. the the Lemmy Kilmeister one was really good. Uh the singer from Motorhead. Yeah. Oh, um on. the first fucking rodeo. I, listen, I don't know how Caucasian you are. Yeah. <laughs> um I've read a couple of wrestling autobiographies. Um, but like I'm just not really like a non-fiction kind of guy i normally am not either like it's it's i don't know whatever switch got flipped this year like i just yeah. i need to read about comedy i don't know why yeah yeah um yeah no I, i've got yeah pretty much pretty much all fantasy novels um because like you know i got into that like bukowski thing and like i've read all the the novels of that that i wanted to read because I'm not like big on poetry. Yeah. I yeah. might I might pick up one of his poetry books, but like it's I, not it's not gonna click with me the way preaching the, the choir, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's not gonna click with me the way the other stuff does. Um but I got um I started reading Naked Lunch. And I just, yeah, I just cannot read it's a fucking mess, dude. Yeah. I, I it's weird for the sake of weird. I cannot I can't do it. It's it's not even like I'm not even to the weirdness. Like just the way he writes is fucking like it's a mess. Yeah. It's just all over the place. And I, I just can't get into it. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. I dreaded like in college, like every semester, like I'd be you get the syllabus at the beginning of the year and like you're looking at it like oh fuck. Yeah, every year there'd be one or two books that you'd have to read and like I know. This is going to be a fucking bitch to get through. Like this yeah. is going to be the worst part of the year. Yeah. And sure enough, it was. Uh, I'm looking at you, housemate of dawn. Uh, <laughs> fucking. Uh, it was one of those ones where, like, I again the paper I had to write. I was just like, you know what? I didn't finish this book. This book is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. This sucks, and yeah. here's why. Uh, yeah, I know we're supposed to be reading it because we're supposed to be appreciating this, 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 and this. Here's why. That's you know this is terrible. Like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that that doesn't work. Yeah, he's just going all off. It'd be cool if he got laryngitis. I don't know what is up his ass lately, but he is just touchy as a motherfucker. I mean, maybe something is touching up his ass. Could be. Maybe I should call him a couple of questions. You know, mm -hmm. that's all I'm saying. Call some people. You know. <laughs> um, let's see. Anything else to mention? Um. I got a ring doorbell now, so Me too. I, I just installed it. Like a I am doorbell. nosy as fuck. I never realized. Right? Like, yeah. Looking at it, like, yeah. <laughs> like, who the fuck are you? All yeah. right. Mailman. All right. Cool. It was not nearly as tough to install as I thought it was going to be. Uh, did you get the one that like actually attaches? Because we got one that clamps to the door. Oh yeah, no, I got the hard. I got the hardwired one. Yeah, yeah. So it was, like. 10 minutes to set up. It was really easy. Yeah. 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 I'm going to get one for the studio entrance too. Well, cause we're in an apartment. <clears throat> so we got like the camera, the ring camera itself charges. 
And yeah. then there's a, a case that you put it in that just clamps to the door. So that's that's pretty sweet. I have a, I have a camera for this room just for security purposes that I just haven't had time to set up. I think I'm going to put it up like right over there. Yeah. Just facing down to the door. So fuck you, anybody thinking about ripping us off. Yeah. <laughs> Piece of shit. But yeah, oh, I'm checking that shit all the time. Like, yeah. 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 We also got the like the um the smart this is kind of fuck. I have to, I turn this shit off like right away. We got the smart garage door opener and it lets Amazon put packages in the oh, garage. Oh yeah. 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 Nope. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I I saw that. I was like I would never. I would never. We were sitting at my in-laws the other day. Let a stranger have access to my fucking garage. Yeah, and like I'm sitting there, and I look down, and it's like your door was opened by Amazon. I'm like, the fuck it was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I put it on for like for big shit. Like if it were something for the studio, like computer or something like yeah. that. Okay, yeah, bring that shit inside. But like, you ain't coming in here to drop off a goddamn pack of goddamn crystal light or something. Like, yeah, no. Yeah. Drop that on the porch. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think we're just rambling at this point. We are. Yeah, but it's, it's fun rambling. It's 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 been two weeks since I've been here. So I think the Werewolf by Night comic came out this week, so I have to run to Earthworld to pick that shit up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I re- yeah, I recently got back into Snap. Speaking of Werewolf by Night, oh yeah, I one, one, one of join my our decks. alliance. Three of us holding the fort down right now. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Big Dumb Monsters uh, Alliance on Snap. Yeah, it's uh, the the tag is Meh. There we go. Why is it Meh? Because it just had three letters. Oh, yeah. that makes Tire sense. Used BDM in the name of the. Yeah, it's alliance. BDM Network. No, uh, join us, and we will rule Snap. <laughs> uh, not as father and son. I don't. Know no, any people. as uh, yeah. as as acquaintances. Yeah, distant acquaintances. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I am still hardcore addicted to snap. So I, yeah, I am not, but it's been fun to have goals like the, they have the, gotten better about that. Like keeping you interested in it with the with bonuses and shit like that. Like, yeah. 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 So like, um, the Alliance ones, like I've been kind of, cheer- brownies, yeah. I've been, it's, yeah, it's been fun to like, Oh, I want to do like a bunch of destroy stuff. Or I want to do a bunch of discord, uh, discard stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's been fun. Dude, the cards are so fucking different. <laughs> yeah. It's been months and months since I've played. Yeah. So, like, like the cards are updated, and there's shitloads of new ones that I'll never get. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. I mean, I usually get the new cards, like, either... When if I don't get them by having like the keys to open the like the collector boxes, yeah, I will have like saved up you know enough points to to grab one. Yeah. So maybe if there's like five new characters that come out in a month, I'll get easily three or four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, I think that's enough. Um, that's got to be enough, huh? Uh, I will shout out this Friday if you are in Tampa Bay. Come check me out at the Tampa Bay Comic Con, uh, four o'clock Friday afternoon. I'm going to be talking with George's Jaunty and Dexter Vines. Uh, that I made the uh, like the promo poster for Friday, like dead center George's and Dexter panel. Like, all right, that's yeah. me. Yeah, dope. Uh, so yeah, you can come check me out there. I, I'm hyped uh, to talk to both of those guys. Uh, and then on Sunday at noon, I am talking to Dan DeDio. Uh, and Ralph Macchio. Uh, of That's DC. still fucking absurd. Yeah, I don't know how I landed that one, but I am hyped. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that'll be Sunday at noon. Uh, if you're in Tampa Bay, come check out Tampa Bay Comic Con. It is looking to be a banger. Yeah. Um. For sure. Yeah. That fucking guest list is gigantic. Yeah. And awesome. Yeah. I am hoping. Yeah. To talk to some folks. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, November 23rd and 24th, you can find us at Saratoga Comic Con. Um, we'll be up to our normal hijinks. Hijinks. Shenanigans. Yeah, I don't have any official words uh, on what I'm doing yet, but I I think I know who I'm talking to. Uh, we have a a soft yes on that, on the trivia panel again. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I... If we get to do that at Saratoga, I I am so excited. To, yeah, to do I know. That at Saratoga. Uh, like, I know. As much of a drunken mess as <laughs> Mid Hudson was, this is going to be even worse. Like, 
Don't say worse. Even better. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be uh who that's gonna be a night. That's gonna uh, be a night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So keep an eye out. Um that's an off panel, off recording conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, with that I I I fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Sam loves us, so like he always lovable does, rascals. Again. He always does right by us. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we always do right by him because we're fucking professionals. No matter right. how drunk we are, it's right. Yeah, goddamn right. We may swear a little too much, but then we apologize. Look, and we didn't say we're not rough around the edges. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, lovable rascals. Yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah. Check us out there. You know where to find us. We're in our usual spot. Yep. All right. So you ready for socials? Let's do it. All right. So our website is www.bigdomemonsters.com. Uh, you can find us on Facebook. We are Big Dome Monsters Pod. Uh, email us, please. We want to hear from you. Uh, we want to hear about how we can make the show better, uh, what you love about the show, uh, movies we can watch that fit the monster theme, beer you think we should drink that, you know, like you can try to dethrone the club, but it's going to be hard. I don't think you're going to do it. Yeah, well, there's, there's one surefire way to dethrone the club. Uh, and that's sponsor us. That, yeah. That's <laughs> Be a right. Beer company that sponsors us. Yeah. Looking right at you, Necromantic Brew Company. Yeah. Um, where was I? Sponsorships, beers to drink, beers suggestions. To drink. Ha. Yes. Email us anything, really. Uh, BigDumbMonsters at gmail.com. Uh, you can find us on Slasher, the all horror social network. Uh, that's a really great uh, resource to find. Cool movies, cool people that love horror, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, and you can find us occasionally logged into our Steam account, uh, Big Dumb Monsters. You can check us out on Instagram and threads at big underscore dumb underscore monsters. Doing the socials with the Milky Way Midnight. Oh, like half chewed. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mega professional. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Back to all that professionalism we were talking about. Yeah. Um, Unwavering professionalism. Yes, that's exactly what I would call it. Unwavering. <laughs> um, you can check us out when we stream this show live. Uh, if you are listening to the audio-only version of the show, you're missing out. There's video. You, you can see all of this happening. Yeah. You can um, see Chris eat candy on yeah. the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And drink beer. And drink beer. Uh, you can check that out on Twitch and YouTube at Big Dumb Monsters. Be sure to go over there and subscribe because um, it really, uh, really helps us out. We appreciate it. Uh, you can stop by our merch store at T Public. You can just search for the Big Dumb Monsters store there. Uh, we have a Discord that you could join. You should. You should, should join. Should. Should. Uh, you'll get you you'll get uh heads up uh when every show is gonna come out. Uh, Arthur is being very helpful there and always posting the day of the shows. Well ish. <laughs> missed a few in a row. But that's fine. Yeah. But you're trying yeah. some days. We'll eventually get that stream bot to, to stream there too when, yeah, we, when we do yeah, the show. Dope. Um That's all we got. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. All right, time for the words of wisdom. And we're we're stressing the, at least fifty percent of them this week. Highly applicable yeah. tonight. Do not let ghoulies eat your ass, and, especially at a carnival. Yeah, no, doubly at a carnival. Don't let anybody eat your ass at a carnival. Yeah, you can go either way. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna strictly say a carnival, uh, but never sleep in a deathbed, regardless of location. Bye-bye.